it has so many seasons where we're like, oh, let's just watch one episode. And it's actually really good. You know the drill with the morning pee. It's that homeowner stuff. The older you get, you're just like, I'm ready. I am here to put you on to the good stuff. Let's go see what a five star home goods looks like. Guys, I kid you not, this place is dead, but the candle aisle is full. When I say I got so many candles. Hello you guys, welcome back to a new vlog. So I'm starting this vlog Friday, it's 1.30. I usually start in the morning, but I ended the last vlog this morning. So we went to the gym this morning and I've just been editing. I've got Bruno here, he wants to say hi. Guys, it is so cold today. It is cold and windy and just crazy. And like the dog does not care, he is a lover of the outdoors, whatever temperature, rain, shine, snow, sleet, 10 degrees, 90 degrees. <laughs> he just, he just wants to be outside. I swear, he has human eyes and it just kills my heart. I feel like I've never seen some sort of doodle dog that doesn't just have like the most soft human eyes. Anyway, <laughs> I got this new Lulu lemon top. These are Lulu lemon leggings too ones we got in Canada but I got this top on sale and it's really cute I like how it kind of like goes lower just in the front um, but it's really nice quality I'm sharing because I got a few things from lululemon and they're on sale and when you can get lululemon on sale that's what to do and I don't think a lot of people know too that they have a lot of pieces now that go up to a size 20 um, cuz I didn't know so I also grabbed that one in black. I'm gonna link everything. This is the in still tank I find a lot of collections have really nice workout stuff in the yoga section because it's like softer I like like a light support because like I'm not like running or anything I usually just do the like elliptical and then some strength training um, But it has like a shelf bra. It's really soft really smooth And I like how it has like this kind of like seam right here I think it looks really pretty so I also grabbed that in black and I have been wanting to try I don't think I have any of their pants I just have leggings. So these are the loungeful straight leg pant um, I'm about to take a shower and then I want to like try these on but they actually look long enough quality is really nice I totally get it lululemon is expensive but their stuff is really soft but i think all of these were on sale because i um like i went to the plus size section they have a section that has just the extended sizes because a lot of their stuff only goes up to a 14 but i have one of their i have multiple of their tops in a 14 some of their stuff runs big i don't know this top runs much more true to size than on the big side and then i clicked the plus size option and then i did from lowest to highest and there was a ton of stuff discounted and i don't think people think to look at it that way so like that's that's the lululemon hack to get a good price and then i also just got their perfectly oversized crew neck is what it's called um oversized fit bum covering just super duper soft it has um very small logo on the back left hip but yeah just like a really really nice quality crew neck i just wanted to get a few basics so it's Racing, as I said, so this is what the tank looks like. That's all I got just these four things But that's the tank and then after my shower I'm gonna try these on and give you guys like a fit review So all right, I'm gonna go shower and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I am clean I also rolled my hair in what we did last time the heatless blowout mohawk I think I've really got it down. Please don't get your tripod. Thank you um, And then I just had my shower cap on over it because I took a shower just a body shower so i'm gonna leave this on to preserve <laughs> and i will show you guys how it comes out i am obsessed with these lounge pants i think i'm gonna buy more because they are such nice quality i love how long they are without being too long because i'm five seven and a half and i feel like sometimes lounge pants are just too short or way too long if i buy the tall version they just oh, they feel so Oh, nice. Um, so I'm gonna look at the other colors they had because I'm like I said, I'm pretty sure these were on sale, but let me check. Um, and typically I wouldn't wear like this with this. I'd wear this with like leggings, but I just wanted to try it on and it's so chilly. It just felt fitting <laughs> to wear them together. And I like tan with white. I think it's kind of fun. This is a very light tan. 
um, and this is white, but I just tucked it in the top here um, just to give it like a little shape. So this one, it's not like fleece inside. So if you like that kind of oversized crew neck, but you don't want to be hot in it, this is perfect. It's just a nice, thick, comfortable, um, oversized, stretchy cotton. Um, and I really, really like it. So, uh, but the pants, the pants are nice because they have a very light fleeciness to them inside. You're not going to get like overly hot if you wear these. So yeah, I really, I really like everything I got. So that's exciting because I'm pretty sure you can't return final sale unless you're a member. So I think I signed up to be a member. It's just like creating an account. We'll check back in on the hair because seriously, I think I've got the roll down. Um, but I'm following basically a girl's TikTok. Hi, babe. <laughs> it's I know. I'm following a girl's TikTok. So um, I will put her TikTok info here so you can see like the real tutorial because I tried it for the first time in the last video and it was a hot mess. <laughs> but practice makes perfect. Okay, you guys. Um, so I just had to take the dog out. So I took my hair out. Honestly, it looks so good considering I had just thrown it in again without even like using heat first. <laughs> like I just rolled it up in the socks. Um, they're so good. You guys, I was outside for like two minutes. My whole face is red. If you're in New England and you're watching this, this last weekend when you're watching means cold. Let me know if it was cold where you are. Um, because, oh my gosh, the wind chill right now is so negative. It's like, it's like shocking. <laughs> Like they just had a thing on the news of like cold weather checklist and stuff like crazy. So my mom is actually heading over now because you guys know we're trying to get through Bachelor in Paradise because we are so behind. So Bruno's going to be really excited to see grandma. <laughs> I should have recorded it. His head just popped up from <laughs> he was on the couch. His little head just pops up. You want to see grandma? She's going to be here any second now. Any second. Oh boy. You wanna see grandma? <laughs> no, he's looking at the door. He's gonna go nuts. So my mom and I are gonna watch Bachelor in Paradise and just have a chill Friday night with my mom. Oh my gosh. Is it grandma? Many hours later. Well, this is how I'm going to bed tonight. I got it on Amazon. I will link it. It's silk on the inside, so it keeps your hair super, like shiny, soft, protected. I did the three mohawk again to sleep in, cause like, you know, I want to like officially try to sleep in it, cause I've never tried to sleep in it. So I will report back in the morning. So we actually stopped watching Dope Sick. We were, that was the newest show we were watching. I have my retainer in. <laughs> we were watching Dope Sick on Hulu. We watched three episodes and we were just like so enraged by like Big Pharma. <laughs> like we couldn't even keep watching. We were just like so frustrated. And like you can kind of just see where the story is going. Like it's all just I don't know. We were just, the whole opioid crisis is just like absolutely heartbreaking and infuriating. And it's just like, oh my God, that show, it's a good show, but we were just like, this is, I looked at him, I'm like, I can't watch this. Like, I'm so angry. So we started Servant on Apple TV. We love Apple TV shows. It's no secret. I talk about them all the time. I think they make great, great quality television. Like The Morning Show is one of the best shows I've ever watched like there's just so many good shows truth be told <sighs> I've talked about them a million times but um Servant has like I think three or four seasons now it's really popular it's a thriller so like whenever we saw the preview we were like oh, it doesn't really look like our style we like a little drama mostly drama uh, but this is a thriller <laughs> so it has so many seasons so we were like oh let's just watch one episode and it's actually really good. Like we're already a few episodes in now because they're not as long. They're only like 30 or 40 minutes, but it is interesting. <laughs> it's really interesting. So that is our current show now since we stopped on Dope Sick. But I don't know if I ever gave my final thoughts on the show we watched before Dope Sick, the Theranos show. It was called The Dropout on Hulu with Amanda Seyfried. So good. We finished that. That was amazing. I saw a comment saying we watch a lot of TV. We watch like one or two episodes a night. <laughs> Pretty normal 
<laughs> pretty normal in my opinion but the dropout was really good let me know what shows you are loving right now um but since we're really into the servant um i think we'll be on this for like a while since there's so many seasons but really good definitely recommend i've been like really getting out of my comfort zone with television the last few years honestly since i met yarman i'm very grateful and i like officially understand the whole you know being with someone who like pushes you to like be better get out of your comfort zone just like broadens your horizons <laughs> and not just with tv obviously but like in so many different ways yar has really like shown me and open my eyes to so much more and this is just the television example but like i used to only literally watch reality tv and um like sitcoms i never really watched anything heavy like a couple dramas but not really and like i never in a million years thought i would want or love a show like game of thrones or um stranger things just so much tv like that i just it was not like, oh, I just don't think I'd like it. I never gave it a chance. And he's like, just give it a small chance. I know you. I know you'll like it. And then after one episode, I'm like, wow. <laughs> you know? So he's really just helped me get out of my comfort zone and like for the best. Oh, I have the Apple TV home screen on right now on the TV. Severance was another amazing Apple TV show. Um, two SAG Award nominations, Outstanding Ensemble and Drama Series. That was a great show. <gasps> that was so good. I'm on a TV rant. <laughs> I want a little ramble about television. Honestly, there's a solid chance in the middle of the night this bothers me enough and I rip it off my head. Solid, solid chance. So I will report back in the morning and see, but I think I'm a little more hopeful because it's not on the sides and I'm a side sleeper as I've mentioned. So I think I'll be more comfortable than like the heatless curls since they're on the side. So <sighs> fingers crossed. I'll see you in the morning. Our neighborhood lost power, so we're all trying to like figure it out. Hi. Hi, so a frozen pipe. You know what's funny? I was thinking about that. Um, yeah, how do I check if there's frozen pipe? <laughs> I'm not even really sure how you check. I would go in the basement first and foremost okay. and just see if everything looks okay. So anyway, it's been a rather hectic morning. So I woke up with the bonnet off of my head. I also have like a crink kink in my neck. So it wasn't, I like can't sleep with things in my hair. I don't know. It's a me problem, unfortunately. Um, even though I'm a side sleeper, like sometimes I'll go on my back and like you just can't. I'm thinking next time I'm gonna like just do two and put like flip my head over and roll them so they're like up high so I can get that like back of my neck clear. So when I woke up, the bonnet was off my head, and then when I got out of bed, the socks rolled out, but it just fell like this. So it looks like really good, you know? Um, overall, impressed. But like, honestly, if you want this look, I do feel like, you know, it's great to preserve it overnight with that. But if you wanna just like, do your hair like that while you're getting ready. It's totally gonna give you the same effect. Yeah, so good morning. Some of our neighbors have frozen pipes, so we're like nervous. But the phone is charged. We'll see how long the power's out. You know the drill with the morning pee. <laughs> Ovulation testing, baby. Anyway, that's the update. <laughs> I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Keep you posted on this storm. Honestly, like everything right now is like closed down. Yesterday school was canceled. Like it's the wind and like the freezing temperatures are like really bad. Like you're not supposed to be outside for more than like a few <laughs> few seconds, I guess, or something. Um, I can't put on the news now because the power's out. So that's the situation. Okay, update. <laughs> so the power was only out for about an hour, but it was really funny because one of my neighbors, she was like, hey, just so you know, you can turn on your fireplace because our fireplace throws off a ton of heat and um, people were talking about like frozen pipes. So there's like a way to take off the front and you can put in four AA batteries 
like for power outage emergencies. So <laughs> right after that was all set, the power came on. That was just really funny, but power's back, which is great because um, I was worried about like the food in the fridge. How, I don't even know how long, you know, it's that homeowner stuff. The older you get, you're just like, alrighty. But the power's back, so that is exciting. Um, definitely an eventful morning. It's time for coffee. It made me really happy though, because one of you guys said that you tried the cinnamon roll creamer and you love it. I am here to put you on to the good stuff. Also, we got in the mail um, this like dog dough to make treats. We got that in last night, so I think I think we're gonna make some treats for you. Treats for boy. She's a barista. You know the drill. Califia Farms cold brew blonde roast. It's all about the blonde roast if you want to get into coffee, but you don't want it to be too coffee. Sugar-free cinnamon roll creamer from Coffee Mate. How I love thee. So on the agenda today, I think I'm gonna run to Home Goods because we need more candles and I want to see if we can find more of those um, coconut or beeswax candles because we hit the jackpot last time and we need more candles because I do be burning candles. The first few sips are the best sips. I also need to pop over to like Ulta or Sephora. I want to get some new face masks. Most of my face masks, I was looking through them the other day and they're really old. Like I'm talking like years old <laughs> and like since i've been breaking out so much i'm like i'm not trying to put that on my face so i want to get some like acne fighting face masks and it also kind of hit me the other day that i've been breaking out aligned with when i ran out of my dr hauschka clarifying day oil and i'm like coincidence i think not i need to get more of that because that was like my saving grace for acne over the last few months and i think like I ran out and just kind of forgot about it. I don't know how. I honestly think I've just been like so preoccupied with like getting, trying to get pregnant. I really do think that's like taking up a lot of my brain space. <laughs> and I know stress is bad, trying to get pregnant. Um, I appreciate that. I appreciate all the tips and tricks you guys give me, but I'm starting to like make a little bit more peace with it and just accepting like when it happens, it happens. But anyway, I think that's just been like consuming my brain. So I forgot about my clarifying day oil, which has like changed my skin. So I need to get more of that. We're just gonna run a few errands today. So I'm going to drink my coffee and I'm gonna do a little bit of editing. Um, you guys know I've been cranking out these vlogs. So a lot of the time when I'm not on camera, I'm just editing. <laughs> so I have my spot at the kitchen island and that's where I am typically editing. I have my office upstairs, but I don't know why. I just like love being in the kitchen. The kitchen really is like the heart of the home. I just love being here. It feels It feels like my, my place to be. <laughs> so, all right, I'm also gonna heat up some of my egg bites and I'll check back in with you guys when I'm gonna get ready because I'm gonna throw on a little bit of makeup to run the errands. Oh my God, I just opened this amazing PR package from Buxom. Buxom is really good lip products. Um, so Plump Shot Sheer Tints. Uh, these look so good. And look at all these different colors. Buxom Plump Shot. So it's like a little bit of color, plumping effect. They have a lot of good plumping lip products, but they don't like burn like crazy. Um, but yeah, we'll have to try these maybe in uh, my get ready with me today. And then they also sent this Ray Vegan Collagen Boost. It's unflavored, which is great because I use um, collagen powder in my smoothies. Um, the one I use now is from... What's that really popular one? I can't remember right now, but people have been raving about this Ray brand. So yay, that was so nice of them. <gasps> These are so pretty. I love a new lip product. Okay, you guys, so it is now almost 12. Um, just did a bunch of cleaning and I actually filmed a cleaning TikTok. Um, I love watching those, so I love creating them as well. It's really fun and it just helps you get motivated to do a little cleaning. So um, if you wanna see me clean, here's that real quick.
And now I'm just going to get ready for the day. It feels so good to like deep clean the kitchen. The kitchen's always like just the messiest area, but I'm gonna speed through doing my makeup and watch a little YouTube while I do it. <laughs> later it's actually like 4 30 guys look how light out it is at 4 30. oh we're getting through the winter god bless we're getting through the winter i mean i can't believe it's already february like i will say this has been one of the least horrible winters i feel like we've had in a while i don't know in terms of like it going by quick it went by pretty darn quick this year so Anyway, it's 4.30. The day kind of like slipped away. I don't know. I just was on the computer a lot, getting like editing and other stuff done. So anyway, I'm just going to do home goods, I think, today to go on the hunt for candles. I thought maybe I could look at the skincare there too. Maybe they'll have like some hidden gems. I know I've oh, I've said before, like it's controversial to buy like hair care and skincare at home goods. A lot of people say it's like expired. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like oh, it's so controversial. I don't know. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. I don't know. Uh, but they're just such good deals. So I'm excited to go. I'm going, there's like a good home goods around here. So I'm going to like the good home goods. It's like 15 minutes away. So I'm excited to go and check it out. Uh, as you guys know, I'm also going to Florida in less than a month so i'm really excited to go down there with my mom for our annual trip it's been a minute so i'm excited to just like get in the sun uh, and i know it'll be here before we know it because time flies so i did order some swimwear from target so i'll be doing a try on haul when it comes in in like a week or so but i also might poke around home goods Oh wait, this is not a TJ Maxx. <laughs> this is not a TJ Maxx. This is just a home goods I'm going to. Never mind. I was gonna like poke around and look at like sandals or you know, shorts, dresses, whatever. But you know, that'll be happening later this month looking for some new stuff because a lot of my wide width sandals from last year are uh, just too big now. Um, and a lot of my summer clothes are too big now as well. Some of my bathing suits still fit just fine just because bathing suits are like so stretchy. Uh, they fit even after the weight loss, so that's good. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do some shopping later this month for some summer clothes, vacation clothes, but right now we're just focused on getting more candles. That is our purpose of today's home goods trip. And we'll see, we'll see if anything else catches our eye. Oh, I also, you know how Home Goods has like sections of like office stuff? I need new pens. I know that's really random, but like I ran out of pens. My last good pen just ran out because I'm constantly writing in like my planner and notebooks and stuff. So I need to grab pens. And I also would love to get a nice basket for Bruno's toys in the living room because right now they're in this old basket that I just kind of repurposed and it's just too small and it just doesn't really like make sense. It's just, it doesn't fit his toys. So I want to see if there's any that would look nice in our living room. So let's just go and see what Home Goods has for us. You know, she'll always, she'll always be like, hey, I think you need this. Did you know you needed this? So 
All right, let's go. So actually, I've never been here before. This is a new home goods to me. I put it in my GPS and it's not the one I thought, but that's kind of fun. Going to a new home goods and it's kind of adorable because when I put it in the GPS, she was like, do you want to go to this one? It has 100% positive reviews. And I'm like, yes. And I thought it was the one I was going to or that I went to before and it's not. So um, let's go see what a five star home goods looks like. It's adorable. Pretty cute home goods, I won't lie. Take a small cart. Oh my God, guys, it looks so good in here. Oh, this is so cute. I have like the perfect spot for this. But how much? It's a hundred dollars, Never mind. Does Bruni need some Valentine toys? He does already have <laughs> some. Oh, love a Chino. He has um like a Valentine's Day champagne bottle already. <gasps> Oh my god, there's so many. Ooh, oh my god, he would go nuts. These squeak really easily. He loves that. Should we get this? Is similar to what he has. Oh my god, I can't resist. He would love these. This would literally destroy our life, but he would love these. Love this. They have a lot of beautiful spring wreaths. Like, that is so cool. You know when you go to a new home goods and you can just tell it's a good home goods? This is a good home goods. Ooh. You can always use more coffee table books. Guys, I kid you not, this place is dead. But the candle aisle is full. Every time I go over there, no. Oh. I'm the most awkward. But the candle aisle is so full. It's dead, except for the candles. There's four people in the candle aisle. All right, I'm gonna go home and show you guys my candles because I ended up finding even more than in the footage. <laughs> Do you want your new toys? Do you want them? <laughs> he is going to freak out. Which one you want first? <coughs> Look at the paw. Wait, what? Where are you going? <coughs> is this a lower pitch? <coughs> oh, he likes this one. Eddie, go get it. Did I throw it under the chair? <laughs> Shoot. Hold on, let me get it. Ready? Bite it. Bite it. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. Okay, I apologize because I should have filmed my little haul before giving him one of those toys. So. My bad. When I say I got so many candles, it looks like more than it is because she didn't want the bags to break. I'm gonna start off with this because I was so excited when I saw these at checkout. Every time I go to Home Goods and they have these, I get them. They're the Drizzalicious Mini Rice Cakes, the s'mores flavor with chia, quinoa, and flax. I know rice cakes are also controversial, a lot of controversy. Um, you love them or hate them. I love these so much. They're just like tiny little rice cakes drizzled with chocolate and like marshmallow and they don't have too much sugar. They don't make me feel sick. They're just like a nice little treat. Very excited that those were at checkout. So let's get into the candles. I felt so bad pulling up <laughs> to the cashier with all these candles because she had to wrap all of them. I'm like, I'm so sorry. Okay, so what I'm gathering for candle brands that I'm really enjoying at like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, um, are what's the other one called? Red Wa Red Leaf Home, and then Sensational. You guys know um, we switched over to 
beeswax and coconut wax candles because they're non-toxic so it's better for us better for trying to get pregnant better for the dog they're just better and we burn candles so much so um i always have really good luck now going there to find coconut and or beeswax blend candles so um this is coconut and beeswax this one's from sensational it's called storm and it just smells really good. They're nice and big. They last a long time. I'm literally burning one next to us. Um, lemon lavender, same size. They burn really well, oh, so good. I can't really describe what the storm smells like. I don't think it says it. It's kind of like refreshing, like maybe rain in a way. Then this one is from Red Leaf Home, sea salt and citrus, a great scent, mm, just smells beachy um but just like a nice kitchen scent and it's got like a cute little um lemon on the front here i love the minimal packaging as well and these are all 14.99 and these are big candles 26 ounce candles um this one is white magnolia nice florally scent very clean oh i found this one towards the end like i filmed a little clip of the candles in my cart and then i turned around and there's a bunch like hidden on the bottom shelf i got down on my knees to look at these candles this one's called alpine lake from red leaf um this one is winter heaven i'm gonna burn this one next um so we can still do it in the winter it's a blend of fir amber and wood with a hint of mint oh, it's got like little trees on it it's so perfect for winter oh and this is the other one i got for winter from sensational um this one is fireside and it's not like your typical fireside candle where it's just smoky this one is more like warm it's not overpowering and i also got three small candles from the same brands this one is an energized candle uh, this one was 7.99 and I just, I like having a small ones too for like the bedroom or over on the table in the living room. Then Tangerine Guava, they had a big one of this. I almost bought it. I wish I did because it smells so good. But for now, the little one. And then, oh, <laughs> oh no. So that's so funny. From one brand, it's Tangerine Guava. From the other brand, it's Guava Tangerine. Um, let me see. I feel like they smell different or I would have noticed. Wait. They smell different. I mean, they're from different brands. This one smells more sweet. This one smells more like fruity, not sweet though. I don't know. Either way, they're gonna get burned. So that's my huge candle haul. We are stocked up for a while. Cause the last time I went and got candles, <laughs> I only bought two, which was a rookie mistake, but i um, really happy that I found a bunch of good candles. I'm going to wrap up this vlog here, start another one. You know the drill. Make sure you follow me on Instagram or TikTok or both, whatever, because um, I've been posting a lot of reels as well. And I love you guys so much. I'll see you very soon. Bye.